probably know this by now, but I grew up in Tucson, which means I'm an Arizona girl and I love tortilla soup. It's like a prerequisite. There's this one restaurant in Tucson that has since closed that made the most epic tortilla soup. It was called Cafe Terracotta. So I'm recreating it in my own kitchen today because you can't get it there anymore. So first thing we have to do is chop up some onions, some garlic, and some jalapeno. All right, so we're just gonna saute the onion down and we'll season this with a little salt and pepper because remember, you always wanna season as you go. And while that's going, we can add the jalapeno. Woo! Spicy, I can feel it. So the onions are soft, the jalapenos are starting to cook, and we are just going to add some garlic and cook that for about 30 seconds. You never wanna overcook the garlic too much where it burns. So while that's going, you always wanna like toast your herbs, which is just basically sauteing them. So I have some oregano, some chipotle chili pepper, and some cumin. And I'm just gonna throw that right into the bowl and give that a stir. And those spices are just gonna like toast up a little bit. They're gonna come even deeper. It's gonna be fantastic. To that mixture, we're going to add the whole can of fire roasted tomatoes. No need to drain these. Those just go right in. And then we're gonna add about two to three cups of chicken stock. You could actually also use vegetable stock if you were making this vegetarian. So now we're just gonna bring this to a boil and then let it cook for about 20 to 30 minutes, add all the other things in, and then it's time to make it very festive. All right, so this cooked down for a bit. I'm just going to very carefully transfer it over to my blender. All right, so this will go back on the stove top, just over really low heat. We just wanna keep it warm. And to this, we are going to add our corn. I'm just using frozen roasted corn. We'll put in some black beans. And here's where you could stop and make it vegetarian if you didn't wanna add chicken, but my husband is a meat eater, so I'm adding a little bit of just like shredded rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. And it is just going to simmer over low heat until you're ready to go, which means it's time to fry some tortillas. The most important part of tortilla soup are the tortillas, right? So I just have some corn tortillas and we're gonna slice them really thin. So when your oil starts to shimmer like it is right now, it means it's ready. So watch, I'll just put one in and it's starting to bubble all around the tortilla so we can put in more. Scatter them around so they're not like super overlapping and then use this to just give them like a nice little zhuzh so they fry evenly. We're just gonna scoop them out, put them on the paper towel, season them up. Oh yeah, they're perfect. Oh my God, this smells so good. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Okay, so to top it off, we're just gonna add a little bit of grated cheese because my name's Gabby, duh. And that'll go right on top. And then we'll slice up some scallions. These will just go on top. We need a little bit of lime juice. I just like to cut the cheek of the lime off and then squeeze it over. Let's add a little bit of avocado. And then the finishing touch. All the fried tortillas right on top. Just stick a spoon in there and call it a day. It tastes like childhood. You guys, the best tortilla soup ever. Grab the full recipe on whatscoffeecooking.com.